Okay, we started with a more or less uh, not homogeneous but heterogeneous uh, knowledge. Uh, the researchers gave us a paper, uh, a word paper, and I want to make this, I want to uh, retrieve that, or whatever. But there were five papers. They were not uh, standardized, they were not methodologically revised. <coughs> so this brings us to a little of chaos and that kind of point. <laughs> this is the big mistake. <coughs> so we have we have learned about that, but it is not a <laughs> so the big mistake was we we do not have a content a content uh, schema. We develop it on the on the time. Democracy was also a chaos. There was no a, a, co a coordinator or a sponsor that made the decisions. So all the disciplines uh, guys make the decisions. So it's, for me, the computer guy, it was a, a nightmare. <laughs> On the other side, there was a sabotage. <laughs> some use FileMaker, some use Word, some use Excel. And even if the data was available uh, any time, they do not use it. Because they feel that they will not share information or whatever, but it was a, a sabotage. So, we nearly take a, a, heart, attack, a heart attack on this <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, the project was static, the, it was almost fell down. So, it was a restart, even from the people and from the computer side. So, we managed to take a, a functional person, it was called the moderator or the coordinator. He's the guy that uh, knows more or less some kind of the disciplines, but that makes the decisions. This goes, this or not goes, or you can extend this or whatever. So that the computer guy will only type, will only participate when only there's. Okay. Uh, all the content, or the tree of, uh, of the database content, was uh, reverses as a thesis. So everything that was related was taken from one part to the other. So from five chapters of the database, we came on to four parts. It was a complete redesign. The other tools were only available if the database has bugs or mistakes. And uh, from the computer side, of of the project, uh, I took the approach of an uh, agile development. It is uh, some kind of a uh, methodology that reduces times between you. Yeah, there are some specifications and the product that you get. Uh, the project could be a prototype, the code could be <coughs> a productive system, uh, a computer product system. So, from maybe one month or two, that I take to make the, each uh, screen or whatever, we reduce it to one or two weeks. So we revise everything in, uh, in, uh, in the sessions that were all the disciplines. All the aspects of the, of the database will be uh, analyzed by the whole complete of the disciplines, not only one. For all. And this was very fruitful because all the problems were tackled in that moment, even though the small ones were completely revised. So we added some search options, like a field options. And you look at the, on the content on the specific fields, but we also tackled a problem that maybe Maria was written in some in Latin, Maria in Spanish or whatever. So the people who were searching the database, like it, I I do not know, but I I want to take information about 
Mary. So we use uh, STEM in the thing and the database. That's the lesson that we learn. Everything must communicate with each other. It is not a humanistic research site, it is not an artistic site. Everything in the project is related. So as a, as a group of persons, we have to know from each other. <coughs> we have to choose the people. There's three kinds of people on this kind of projects. It is the functional or disciplined guys, it is the coordinator, the one that hits the people or makes the decisions. <laughs> it is the computer guy. Okay. On the development side, you have, it is my own opinion, I have been developing systems for maybe 18 years. So, when I uh, approach this, this project, I used to, I used um, this, uh, spiral <coughs> methodology, but it was not usable in this kind of projects. So I approached the Agile uh, methodology. It is for shorter terms and conditions, but could be costly and uh, uh, in a time frame. But it gives the people, the functional users, some responsibilities and also gives uh, a sensation that the project is for all of them. <coughs> and all the specialists will be treated equally. So it will not be important if the other was restoration, or it will be history, or it will be art, or it will be iconography. All, all the people are important. And then it will be noticed. Not all the things are computer related, so the people also have to make compromises to have the information to make right how to, they know how to use it. And these kind of projects, maybe you will get frustrated because maybe all not the information, all, all the things are available. On the cataloging uh, working, we, uh, we find some issues that the originality the database will not cover, so we add it to the, to the database. And also, if you know that some guy is making something similar or related, look for it. This is a Catholic team. They're from Codicology, Conservation, Psychology, Liturgy, Art History, the, this was the final aspect also of the database. This was general information like uh, how many pages, definitions, or whatever. We have the liturgy, it is a missa from every saint, or whatever. The visual and graphics elements, even the small uh, capital layers are reflected on this database. And the conservation. Lucero was the coordinator. We have a consultant for uh, liturgy and uh, other aspects, <coughs> and that was the technical team. And just for final, this is the, the database. This is the not the end user database. It is the catalog database, and it will be the uh, final user 